You know, uh, that's a very interesting question. We, uh, when we started a firm, gosh, four and a half years ago, uh, and NFV hadn't really come on the scene yet, uh, we imagined that the change or transformation that would happen in operators' networks would happen largely because of the business forces driving it. I mean, fundamentally, uh, the economics of operator networks were turning upside down with all the growth in mobile in particular. So we thought that actually mobile was the first place where all of this would start. And sure enough, that's the way it's played out. Um, the uh, uh, NFV is, is um, a very important technology for making mobile business, uh, business models work in operators. Um, it's, that's prime time today. Uh, we have, gosh, 23 or so deployments that we're involved in. Um, and another 40 or so trials tra transforming these networks. Um, and it just so happens that the technology that, that exists happens to fit very neatly with the performance needs of, of mobile. Um, if you think about where this is all headed, the reality is that this technology is going to impact every aspect of the network over, I call it a decade. Um, we've seen these large transformations before. And if you can imagine that networks today are built as boxes in, data, in uh, central offices, that's all going to go away over some period of time. And we're going to end up with software running in data centers and very simple connectivity out to access points, towers, and so on. So ultimately, it'll affect every part of the network. Uh, to me, actually, the most important aspect of this is not the network transformation itself. That's a necessary uh, step. But the real value in this is the programmability and the flexibility that it brings to the network so that operators can innovate services. Right now, it's so hard to innovate a new service in an operator network that they um, really can only do big mass market things. But, but in a world of IP services where we're seeing all these over-the-top um, value-added services that, that come to you and I, the operator can really participate in that and drive new revenue streams. and, and the essential tool in their network is having a flexible network where they can innovate quickly.